Hi, my name is Alan Q. Um, welcome to another episode of At the Closing Table. I have my clients here. Joe Post, uh, second time home buyer, but first time buying a home with, with my wife. Yep, and I'm Claire Post. Uh, have you bought a home before? No, this is my first no. time. No. This is your first time buying a home in Massachusetts, right? That's correct. So, uh, having gone through it before, what was unique about this experience here in Massachusetts, and especially in this market? Probably the biggest thing was the diversity of homes in this area, only a couple miles away. Style of home, the just general area and population that you were in would be totally different. Coming from the DC, Maryland area, it was definitely a much more diverse kind of housing here in Massachusetts. And uh, that was welcoming. There was a lot of places to look at, and we did look at a lot of places. 22 to be exact. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, the, it was it was very enjoyable though looking at, at all the different places. It definitely allowed you to um, kind of see yourself in a lot of different scenarios that you wouldn't normally probably get to. What was the process like to find a realtor for you guys, especially since you've used realtors in the past buying and selling your house? So um, we've done like realtor stuff for like selling our house. We used internet search kind of thing that gave us the top three in our area, and we did mm -hmm. an interview process with all three of them. To sell the house. How we found you was we got linked up with you through Zillow. Mm -hmm. um, we had just been casually looking because we went into this just looking, of course. Mm -hmm. And when we signed up to view a house, they said, let's hook you up with a realtor. And then, then we found you. And <laughs> we've been with you ever since. I remember just popped in my brain. You guys ran me kind of through like a quick interview mm -hmm. at one of the houses. And I don't know if you guys remember what your criteria was, but I think it was like negotiating, yeah. communication, knowledge of the market, mm -hmm. and understanding VA loans. That was really appreciated. I think just having this, this uh, the war warming, welcoming personality to kind of help us through the initial, you know, intros to the Boston market, intros to the just the buying process, you know, at least for for both of our sakes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it was, it was really easy. The communication, you were so great at communication. <laughs> so, yeah. um, especially texting, like yeah. that's, that was really nice to just I have a problem with my phone. I, I can't get off of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, you need to go be unplugged for a moment, but we appreciated the, the communication. Um, it was really great. Definitely helpful. It was helpful to have, you know, I'll just say a local person there to mm -hmm. help us with questions about the town, questions about the area. Um, really knowledgeable about all the places to go. So yeah, it was really helpful. After that, you guys ended up using a uh, VA loan. Uh, How did you guys go through the process of deciding who to use as a lender? So we had a couple of options in that area. Um, we had the VA loan, as you mentioned, as an opportunity. We also looked at and ended up going with the conventional loan. I had the opportunity to talk to uh, a mortgage company that focused with VA loans with veterans. And I also had a corporate relocation um, uh, availability through my job that I had just recently started a few months prior. So I was able to actually leverage them to obtain the, the conventional mm -hmm. funding. So we ended up going with the conventional loan. I'd say that process was very simple. From the two lenders, well, I was able to get the figures I wanted to be comfortable with making a decision within probably two business days at most. I would say my only issue with mortgage conversation is like, like the closing cost estimate was really high compared mm -hmm. to what we actually ended up paying for the closing cost. I will say, like, for the past couple of weeks, I've kind of had, like, minor heart attacks about the whole thing. So, um, but based on what I understand from some friends, like, they had this similar issue. You don't, like, we didn't find out until last night. So that, that part was a little frustrating, but obviously that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with our mortgage company. So. Coming from the previous VA loan that I had, not having to worry about closing costs, you know, we made the conscious choice to choose conventional. So that's something that, that should be considered, you know, closing costs. So we had the, the opportunity to choose between the two and we failed to uh, kind of recognize like, oh, hey, closing costs are a thing we should consider too. So mm -hmm. that's that partially that, that's on our fault too. Right, so it was great that you guys actually chose uh, Veterans United. We didn't end up closing with them, but I will say me and my group, we have a really good relationship with them. They do a lot of referrals with us. It is really difficult to get a VA loan approved, especially in this market because it's so competitive. Mm. Uh, we were able to get it done twice, which I've never even done before. <laughs> uh, you know, so we got an accepted offer uh, with the VA loan mm -hmm. on a property, went through inspections, fell through, found another place, got the VA loan approved again, and then we switched to a conventional. 
Yes. Right. So that's, that's the full spectrum of what we did. Now moving on to the inspection, how did you guys go through the process of finding the inspector? Well, that was through you. You had the connection to Tom. Tom. Tom, not a Tom from MKC. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah. awesome guy. Yeah, scheduling that was, was a breeze. Uh, he was really flexible. I think he, on one occasion, had to kind of readjust his schedule just to meet our availabilities, mm. which was great. Super knowledgeable guy. Comparing him to the other couple of inspectors, too, in the past that I've worked with, mm. he's been by far the most knowledgeable um, about everything from the 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 cradle to grave of a home and everything that can happen in between. I mean he was he was a very knowledgeable guy. I loved yeah. him a lot. I, I love Tom. I recommend him a lot to my clients because he is so knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Um and you know who you recommend is an extension of who you are. So how's the process with um finding an attorney? Pretty straightforward, I think. I forget who exactly we found it through, if it was through you or um, I think it was yeah. through you for the building right yeah. The attorney was really great. I don't think we really had to deal with them until last night. So we didn't get the, the mortgage company didn't get the attorney's the closing documentation until just before six o'clock oh, when right. banks closed. Yeah. And we did our final walkthrough at 8.30 mm -hmm. this morning when banks open. Yeah. And our bank is USAA, which is virtual for most places. Um, so we had to do a wire transfer because getting a bank check is basically impossible with that time frame and mm -hmm. not having a bank location. Um, so they were really great and flexible in getting us the information pretty fast too on um, how to do the wire transfer. They went with uh, Rick from DR Law which they're you know part of a group they're actually their office is in my office and they allow dogs which is yes. awesome too yes. darcy slept through the whole yeah. thing did she yeah. <laughs> kind of last thing i want to touch on is like with the first house what i think was key in getting that offer accepted was that we were looking at places during the week mm -hmm. and I think it was really important especially in this oh, market because yeah. you don't want to walk into a bidding war mm -hmm. um so you guys are super flexible and meeting me like five o'clock at night, six o'clock at night, and we're looking at houses with my flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I had a lot of fun our, with it. Our fake sun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I don't think that we would have gotten that offer accepted without a bidding war and with the VA loan if we had not put the offer in literally the day it came on market. Mm -hmm. Granted, that deal fell through, but then the second time around, building a really good connection with the list agent and having them argue on, on our behalf to sell the VA loan because not all sellers are very savvy about it and it takes good communication on both ends with the agents to really get that through. Um, so shout outs to Bob. He's also amazing. I've, you know, I've talked to him many times, you know, he's in my area and yeah, I think that kind of wraps everything up, right? Is there anything else you guys want to point out? The only thing I'll add is just the convenience of, um, you know, Shinati Realty generally being here with the attorneys having the connection with the home inspection, having the connection with the mortgage, um, just having like a, a one-stop shop where everyone was super knowledgeable, um, super reasonable, super responsive. Uh, the, the whole process of working with Shinati has been really fantastic, honestly. Boom. Okay. Oh, look at that. So congratulations guys, thank you for working with me and uh, and hey, you're moving to my neighborhood, so I'll see you yeah. guys very often. Yes, thank you, you guys for being here.